Hey there guys, what is going on? This is going to be your Zoo Gold Camo Guide, especially focusing around long shots here. Now, this is a map where it is very, very easy for us to get pretty decent long shots on. Like, there's a lot of decent lines of sight on this thing, including the main two buildings and sort of major high traffic areas of the map, which are, of course, the monorail station over there, and then the top of this building as well. Basically, just being able to see across this main courtyard. This is one of the better maps for long shots going around. As we usually do first though, we're just going to go over some long shot distances. That being, of course, the assault rifles, the LMGs, and the tactical rifles. That is a 41 meter long shot. What that looks like is essentially something like this. As we can see here, if we ping that over there, that's about 41 meter distance. So if somebody is standing in there, you are going to get a long shot. If you're just sort of moving back a little bit, you'll get a long shot with an assault rifle, a tactical rifle, or of course, an LMG here. An SMG for a long shot in this game is 36 meters, so if we were to take a look at 36 meters, that's 24, that's 28, that is 33. Maybe somebody on there is going to be 36 meters away, a decent distance, of course, not too hard to get SMG long shots. For a pistol, it is 25 meters, for a sniper, 51, and for a shotgun, I believe it's 14 meters for a long shot kill. But our number one tip for getting long shots, of course, and pretty much any camo challenge done in this game is to play in hardcore. It makes it very, very easy to get most challenges done as realistically people do only die in one or two bullets, which makes it very, very easy for you to guarantee a lot of long shot kills. All right, so onto the spots then, we did show off one of our long shot spots here previously. As you can see, that is 44 meters away. It's not gonna work with every weapon class, but for the most part with assault rifles and SMGs, you're gonna be able to sort of camp and sit in this area here. Wait for people to like peek their little head. This is what it looks like from the other angle if we just sort of hit that ping there. If we have a look at this, what this looks like from the other angle, it's a little bit of a tough shot, but I mean, realistically, all you have to do is just basically see people sitting in there and just take a shot. As we mentioned, if we continue on our way around here, we get to another spot that is very, very common on this map. As you can see, that is about 35 meters away, so you're not gonna be able to get this done for every sort of weapon category. You can sort of sit here with an assault rifle and maybe pick off people at the back of the room. But again, if you do have an SMG, this is gonna be a more reliable spot. As you can sort of press yourself or sort of stand on that little Stand on the little railing here. Come on, we can we can hit this jump. Yep, come on. <laughs> Get up there, idiot. There we go. If we sit on top of this, it's about 40 meters away. And for the most part with an SMG, you're going to get this done fairly easily. But a more common spot to get long shots, of course, is this distance here and these distances back there. Again, on hardcore, if you just sort of sit and wait for people to walk into this alleyway here, they really are a sitting duck. Again, just a little tap there, a little tap there. Maybe even into the back of that room with an SMG. Again, just sort of tapping people who are just sort of peeking out in these areas here. As this is a very, very common and highly trafficked area, you're very likely to get lots of long shots here. From the reverse angle, this is basically what this looks like here. Again, it's going to be a little bit tricky. You do have to sort of press yourself against this wall here and hope that you do have an SMG and people are standing in the right spot for an SMG long shot. Again, assault rifles are not going to be super common here just because of this actual distance. But if somebody is spawning back there, again, you can see all the way back there. And if somebody comes that side, even maybe somebody sort of getting back there. If you sort of position yourself right, you wait for somebody to be in that little gap there. That's also going to be a long shot. But again, mostly you're looking for sort of somebody getting an easy kill on somebody who is there and somebody who is running out of the spawn there because that's 63 meters away. That's a fairly long distance. Another interesting spot that I did point out in the actual zoo map guide, if you did see that video, basically, if we look here, we can sit in this corner here. And I was like, what is this actually for? Like, this is a very weird spot. But essentially, this is a decent long shot spot. If you press yourself against the back wall here, basically you can sit here and just wait for people to run up that path there. Maybe they're going to go on the monorail sort of track and you can just sort of little tap on them. Something like this is particularly good with a thermal site as you can really just sort of sit back here and just wait for people to walk into you. There's no real way people are going to see you back here because it's fairly, it's fairly well covered. You can just sit back here and just wait for people. So hardcore thermal scope, man, you can just sit in this spot and wait for people to come to you because it's a disgusting long shot spot here. Again, if we were to look at this from the reverse angle, you can pretty much shoot up. This is a very, very exposed spot, so I don't really recommend it as you are going to be competing from about three or four different angles here. You can even get shot from there, which is not ideal. But you can see there, you can see up there, and you can see all the way back into that little bit there as well. So this is, again, a spot where you will get decent long shot kills, but again, it is highly trafficked area. You're going to get sniped and you're going to get shot from people, especially in hardcore where it's just one bullet most of the time. This is not an ideal spot, but if you're just sort of stretching out and you're struggling a little bit for long shots, you just want to sit in a high traffic area and just try and kill people, this is not going to be too bad. If for whatever reason you do find yourself on this side of the map and you're heading towards this, say there's a hard point over in that location or you're just trying to defend the sea flag, if there is somebody sitting behind that little sort of brick barrier there and they're sitting on that, you're definitely going to pick them off and get a long shot kill again. Hardcore, very important for something like this. 
But even if you swing it a little bit wider, you can see a lot of that point there. You can even see all the way back to those stairs. And again, just a little tap, little one shot kill on it makes it very, very easy for you to get long shot kills. I get a little bit of a closer angle here. If you take up this spot, you can see all the way back into those stairs. So again, if somebody is sitting on those stairs, an easy long shot kill, you're not likely to get something sort of there as the distance is definitely reduced, but with the right weapon class, you might still get an easy long shot. For whatever reason, you are just wanting to chill. This is basically very, very similar to the other spot on the other side of the map that we did feature that next to the power generator that looked really weird. If you just sort of sit here and you wait for people to sort of run onto the railing, this is another one that's sort of a little lazy, but people do run across that railing all the time. They climb up the ladder. If you ping the ladder 48 meters away, so you just wait for somebody to climb up the ladder, you give them a little shot. This is not ideal as again, you are exposed from that flank and you, there is a couple of different angles where people can just shoot you from. But I mean, again, if you're just feeling lazy, you just want some easy long shots, just chill here. Just wait for people to walk into you. A thermal site in hardcore, ridiculous long shot spot. And again, the reverse angle does actually work here as well. You can almost see up onto those stairs there. They are about 46 meters away. So again, sort of depends on your weapon class, whether you're gonna get a long shot here. But a lot of people do sit on those stairs and sort of peek towards this way. It's not an easy shot. But again, you can shoot people who are on those stairs for the most part and get an easy long shot kill. Again, this is probably one for the snipers. I mean, that is a spot there that you can see pretty much all the way into that back wall there. If we ping that spot, that's the ladder. <laughs> yeah, that's the ladder. If we ping, if we ping that brick wall there, you can see that you actually do have a fairly interesting line of sight all the way back through there. If you want to sit here, if you want to sit on this thing and just get killed from over there, killed from there, you can sit on this thing and just wait for people to peek up. It's a tough shot because that is not a very wide angle for you to shoot through. But again, a nice little spot. And probably our last spot here, if you look towards there, you can see the fountain. That's 47 meters away. So if you can just sort of sit here and just wait for people to be in and around that area, might end up getting a decent long shot kill. I mean, you have sort of blocked off, but I mean, it sort of depends on where you position yourself. And you've got to get lucky a little bit from this spot, but you can get a decent amount of long shot kills here. But anyway, that is going to be a quick and nasty little long shot guide here, man. This was not too big of a deal. Basically, if you sit in decent spots and just wait for people, you play in hardcore and sometimes you might even have to use the thermal side. But long shots in this game are particularly easy because you can just find decent spots like this. So hopefully this video did help you out. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. If you have not already done so, I do massively appreciate it. It really does help me out. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!